Hi, my name is Josh Weibel, and this is my final for my Theater 201 Intro to Cinema class. For this vlog entry, I'll be reviewing the film Sunset Boulevard, mainly focusing on its use of music, acting, and set design. Sunset Boulevard was directed and co-written by Billy Wilder. Uh, it follows our protagonist, Joe Gillis, a down on his luck scriptwriter, who is on the run from Repo Men searching for his car. Uh, when he makes his way in seeking sanctuary in the garage of a gaudy, worn mansion, Joe meets a woman who he realizes is Norma Desmond, a washed-up old silent film actress that never successfully made the transition to talkies. Joe initially teams up with Norma for some easy money editing her terrible screenplay for her return to the spotlight, but soon finds himself trapped in Norma's twisted reality with no real means of escape. The film is presented to us by his disembodied voice, showing the audience from the start that this film will not end well for the protagonist, and setting the stage for the mood of the film. Throughout the story, this beyond-the-grave narration explains Joe's feelings and motivations throughout his time with Norma Desmond, and also gives the audience hints of what's to come. Uh, as for set design, the film won an award for Best Art and Set Direction in its time, and for good reason. Outside of Norma's house, the, the world is... As is reality. It is in the times, it looks normal. Things are fine. Inside Norma's estate is another matter entirely. Norma's home perfectly reflects her detachment from reality, with extravagant, gaudy furniture and pictures of her former glory filling the mansion. Like, literally. They cover the walls. It's creepy. Um, outside of Norma's estate is also well described and depicted. Not outside of the estate, but the outside of her estate. As Joe approaches, he compares the estate for the first time to the rotted memory of the past in Great Expectations, Lady Havisham. For those that don't know, she wears her, a rotted wedding dress that she's never taken off. It's disgusting. Read that book. It's also very good. Uh, setting, But this description sets us up to expect and see exactly that. The music adds to just as much, if not more, to this movie as the set. From the outside, from the outset, we are greeted with music that is eerie, almost otherworldly, and unsettling. This reinforces the detachment from reality that we feel from both the setting of the house and the residence of the estate as well. Music also does well to key the audience in to important details of these, uh, such as the bizarre act of holding a funeral for a monkey, or Norma's discovery of the blooming love story that Joe is writing with Betty Schaefer, played by supporting actress Nancy Olsen. Both diegetic and non-diegetic music molds the mood and perception throughout the film. The acting, as well, seeks to separate Norma's estate from the world. Outside of the estate, people act and talk normally, while Gloria Swanson wonderfully portrays a woman who has lost nearly all bonds with reality. Norma Desmond is played so over the top and far unlike any other character in the story that the only and the only other resident of her estate, the faithful butler Eric von Stronheim counterbalances Norma's over-the-top behavior with near-emotionless vigilance that until the end of the film refuses to destroy her false reality that has kept Norma relatively sane and safe all these years. This vast difference between the characters inside and outside the mansion further gives the audience the impression of Norma's living in a fantasy world. Um, this concludes my final entry for this course. Uh, Sunset Boulevard is an awesome movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't yet, and have a great summer.